Griffin dubbed their digital audio amplifier 20. Why? Because it packs 20 watts of power per channel. With Bluetooth and optical as inputs, speaker terminal and sub out for outputs, 20 will bring high quality audio to any speaker system in your home. Taking a closer look at Griffin 20's box, has a picture of the unit on the front, the size doesn't have anything, and the bottom is just another small picture of the unit. The top is kind of where we want to focus at for right now. Some tech specs, you got Bluetooth 3.0, uh, supported codecs or AAC and aptX. Down on the bottom here, subwoofer output, basically what you want to take away from that right now is 80 hertz on the high pass and low pass filters. Speaker output is 20 watts a channel and your signal to noise ratio is 95 decibels. Amplifier is a Class D stereo amplifier, TI Pure Path. One cool thing about TI Pure Path that actually I didn't even know until I looked it up is it'll automatically check for other 2.4 gigahertz wireless networks in your area, like 802.11 BG or N, and it'll try to pick a, a what's it called, a frequency that isn't in use or is it like less likely to cause interference, so you kind of get the best connection possible. And also, you have some inputs there and some stuff that we'll talk about once we open it. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Oh, the back, of course. Sorry, almost forgot. A couple other features, I guess. You have your, you know, Bluetooth, and it just shows you have optical speaker terminals, subwoofer out, things like that. All things we're going to see in a couple seconds here when we open this box. I hope if I get the knife the right way. Top cover slides off, and I think this is gonna open. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was gonna open from the front. Looks like it's gonna open from the side. All right, let's take a look at the coolest piece first, which is 20. This thing is actually kind of heavy. It's a few pounds, which rightfully so. It has an amplifier built into it. Take this plastic wrap off. Here is our unit. Uh, you got your volume knob here. The front of the unit, this is our pairing button. Underneath says 20. Just some other Griffin, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The normal stuff you see on the bottom of electronics. Optical in, sub out, right terminal, left terminal, power. Like I said, it's pretty heavy. It's a nice looking unit though. This is something you'd want to definitely put next to all your other high end equipment or you know, even on the table in your living room or something, it kind of goes well with everything. I imagine this is going to be our power supply. So we have some other cables in it too. We have our power cable, and what's nice is not a brick, so the power supply itself is inside of 20. And it looks like they gave us an optical cable with a smaller TOS link adapter there. Is there anything else in here? It does not seem like there's anything else. Some instructions, I guess, are down here. But no other cables. Let me make sure there's nothing else here. It does not definitely... This is an empty box at this point. Do have our user's manual. Has some basic setup and stuff you want to use with optical audio. There's your quick connect, the button on the front to pair it, um, et cetera, et cetera. It gives you some instructions for iOS and Android. It says iOS and Android are supported, but I imagine anything that outputs Bluetooth is going to be supported as long as it also supports AAC and AptX. Um, if that doesn't work, you can always do something like AirPlay to an Apple TV and go from your Apple TV into into Griffin 20 via Apple TV's optical output. So there's a few options you can do here. Um, you know, it's just, it, this unit though is mainly, mainly going to be about bringing high quality audio, wireless audio to any speaker system in your home that isn't, you know, just some out of the box system. Like you can go out and buy some really nice speakers and hook this up to it and you're gonna get good quality sound 
from Griffin 20 on the nice speaker system you bought. So it gives you a little bit more control over your music rather than just, you know, an all in one Bluetooth speaker that sounds okay or great. And those things are pretty expensive. You know, Griffin 20 is affordable for what it does. And, you know, if you definitely want more information about this product, check out thinkcomputers.org for the full written review. Talk to you guys later. Thank you.